I'm not a morning person. Dedicated to being passionate about it. Bodybuilders have become more lazy. People have always thought I lift fake weights. Iran and the United States. You take, you take responsibility for that. Do you feel like, in your personal opinion, again, drugs should be fully eliminated from, from bodybuilding? It would never be, and you know it can't be because it's a part. It's an it's an it's an enhancing drug. It helps you. We saw bodybuilding in the old days as being you train naturally for as long as you can to build natural muscle foundation, and then you might decide to take a little bit to enhance. It's going to give you maybe a 10% or 15% more than what you have. And you don't stay on all year. You cycle twice a year, eight weeks, and you're done. So the rest of the year, you're training like a madman. So, And then I, you was told when you're on, that's when you train your hardest. That's when you puke, throw up, bleed, bleed who cares? Pass out, who cares? That's when you train your hardest. Because when you come off the drug after that eight-week period, you're going to tend to lose some muscle size. But if you train hard enough, you'll maintain some of it. So 16 weeks out of the year, that was it. And not very much. I was afraid of it. I was one of the guys who was fear, the fear factor. I go, man, I take all this stuff, and then I get sick after, and I retire. No one's going to care. And then I'm, you know, for a trophy or a few bucks. And I said, no, I just do the work. We're going to train. We're going to make this body respond. I have, I'm blessed. I have to say, thank God, he gave me structure, proportion, balance. I was never a big guy. But I went to a chiropractor once. He, he's going to adjust me. He goes, you have a tiny little frame under all of this muscle. So I had a lot of muscle packed on nothing, a frame, tiny little frame. So I'm a little guy, but I put on enough muscle. But that's the hard work. And look how many years it took from 1976, 1974 I started, all the way to 2019, uh, yeah, to the last show I did, 94. So that's how you just do the work. It, there is no shortcut. I have trained my clients to go, so within six months, where do you think I'm going to be? I go, I don't know. Just be patient and do the work. If you train hard, it's going to happen. If you sincerely commit yourself to do it, it's going to happen. You can't fake it. You can't buy it. You have to do the work. And I just keep saying that, you know, and even today, you know, I'm, I'm still training myself. I don't do as much, but I do enough to hold on to the muscle size that I do have. And you've competed last year, which is at a master's competition. Which is, you look, yeah, I you look amazing. Natural. Peeled. You look great. Thank you. It was the. You won the show. I won the show. It was AAU Masters, Mr. Universe, at club age 64. <laughs> but I won. And uh, my body fat was down by 3%. You know, no drugs. It was drug tested. And, um, you know, they, yeah, so uh, uh, that was the last show. That was the last time because it, 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 it takes a toll on you, the dehydration. And I was training twice a day. I went like 18, 20 weeks twice a day. Never missed a day. There was no day off. Because I said to myself, when I'm resting, my competitors are training to beat me. So I continue on. Were the guys using diuretics back in the day when you, when you started competing? Was diuretics uh, involved in the sport? Yes, a little bit. There were diuretics, yes, but not overdoing it. <laughs> I mean, you might take a little something there, there, here, there, or natural diuretics. Yes, diuretics, diuretics are definitely part of it, for sure. But now it seems like it's becoming a, a huge problem to a certain huge. degree. Yes, it's a huge problem. Um, it, it, bodybuilding is tough. It's not an easy sport. I mean, it's, it's tough. Even if you have great genetics, you still have to do the work. Because a lot of guys got good genetics, so he's going to beat you on stage. <laughs> I've seen a lot of guys, I said, great potential. But then I go, he doesn't have the heart. He doesn't have the mindset. I can read people. It's he tough. wants, he it's wants tough. a quick, he wants a shortcut. You know, he's looking for something else to help him get there. No, 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 no. So when, once you get there, then you're short-lived. 
you know, those guys hit the top and all of a sudden. What happened to, uh, yeah, you, you want to be one of those guys. That I stayed for 20 years. I didn't go anywhere for 20 years. So that's the mindset, though. You have to have mentally strong enough to say, and you sacrifice everything pretty much, you know, just stay in the game. Because when you're on top, everybody wants, wants to beat you. So that means you got to go train even harder now. The pressure's on.